She's very demure, very mindful, very cutesy. <laughs> so, guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you are a current subscriber or viewer. So glad to have you here. I'm playing around with the Enzoi character creation, as you probably already knew from the title. So I decided I wanted to create myself in the game just to play around with it and see what I can create. And I'm going to tell you guys, this thing blows the Sims out of the water, the water. And I know a lot of people have been saying that, but if you haven't tried this, it's kind of true. Like, this is the future of games. They're using Unreal Engine. Everything looks great. Now, I will say, I was worried this thing was not going to run on my computer. <laughs> uh, it did, but, like, when it was loading up, it buffered a little bit, and I was like, oh, no, oh, no, I'm going to need a new computer. But you know what? It, it worked out in the end, and here we are. Everything's fine. I think I just have too much on my computer. I don't know. But, so I played around with these face presets and I don't, like, I could not figure out how to do some of this stuff. I'm going to have to play around with Enzoi character creation more because I couldn't figure out how to change the chin. So the chin and jaw area <laughs> where there's not those little circles does not look like my face exactly because I couldn't figure out how to do it and I didn't really watch other people's videos cuz I didn't I didn't want to taint the experience, you know what I mean? Also, <laughs> you guys can't really tell, but that hat was getting on my nerves and I was like struggling to figure out how to get rid of that hat. It took forever, okay? It took an embarrassingly long time to figure that out. But right now I'm playing with skin tones. Like I love the that they have all these shades, these presets. And the fact that you can go in and use a color wheel, that really took me out. It reminded me of Sims 3 days. Sims 4 could never. Okay, I'm going to stop comparing to the Sims. I don't know, probably not. But um, and then... <laughs> As far as hair choices, y'all, they need some more. Now, what they have is good, but they definitely need some more. And I'm sure that they will have more before the game comes out. I'm sure this is just a little taste test. You know what I mean? Just to get your appetite going. So, I, uh, I do change her hair because that doesn't look like me at all. I was just fiddling with that hat, trying to figure out how do you get rid of this stupid hat? And then it just kept coming back. But y'all, I promise I figured it out. I did. We do get there. <laughs> but you guys, I am super excited about the potential of this game in a way that I have not been excited for a life sim in so long. So... I find this hair, and this looks the closest to my hair, how it is right now. And I played around. They had like five sections that you could change the color. Y'all, I don't even know if you know. Okay. But that made me super excited. And then I kind of got like carried away trying to find the exact hue of my highlights and whatnot. And it got a little complicated. I'm telling you, you could be in this creative sim thing for hours and hours if you're really dedicated to creating a specific look. Like, you can go there, and I really appreciate that. Now, yeah, I just fiddle with these eyebrows, y'all. I, I don't even know. Like, and my eyes, my nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got somewhere in the end, but I will tell you, it's kind of funny. My husband is like, eh, you look better than your Zoe. Like, your Zoe doesn't quite look like you. And I'm like, oh, well, thank you. Thanks, hubby. Okay, so the lips, you can overline your lips. Like, what the freak? 
I was tripping out. I thought it was a glitch. I'm like, why is the color hanging outside of her lips? It don't make any sense to me. But I figured out that some of the swatches you can overline your lips. That's pretty cool. And then I just found some natural lip color and blush. And I love how you can change the hue of everything. Make it look like your Zoe. Like fit their skin tone. I'm like gassed right now for this game now okay the body weight and the muscle thing I I just fiddled with it a little bit <laughs> but I like how you can go in and change things I was just like okay this pose is a little weird but you know I made it work I just played around trying to figure out the dimensions but I will say, okay, the Zoe is not exactly like me. Because if y'all haven't noticed, I don't know how to rotate this um, Zoe around. I could not figure out how to like, you know, do the like 360 turn. And I'm sure it's not even that hard. And I was just not even, I don't know, just not aware. There's probably something I'm missing. I know there is, but I made it work regardless. And so I couldn't get everything like me because I couldn't turn her around and like, I don't know. I thought there would be more to the chest area that you could do and maybe there is and I just don't know. Y'all can let me know in the comments. I'm sure I missed something. But I love the fact that there are preset um, outfits like, but then there's also like other categories in and things that you can apply and everything looks so snazzy and fancy and the fact that you could change the swatches on some of it and use the color wheel on some of it, on some of it was just great so i do end up using this dress and uh i believe i changed yeah i put on a cardigan for her so the way i dress my zoe was like I was going to work because I'm a teacher so I like cardigans and dresses you know so that's how I dressed her and I I liked it I liked it now I do hope and I'm pretty sure they're gonna come out with more outfits this is just a taste like I said so I I do like it. I do want more clothes options, but I'm going to tell you guys from um, what they're presenting and the fact that this game is so detailed, I'm pretty sure the clothes are going to hit. Like, I'm so sure of it. So, I just played around with this necklace. They, they have a couple options here, like seven. And, uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing what else they come out with. I had a blast. I cannot wait to create more Zoys. But for right now, I could only create one. And, y'all, these fingernails. We didn't get fingernails like this in The Sims, like, for a long time. People had to use mods to get these kind of nails. So I'm like, oh my God, they're coming out with that from the jump. So I do appreciate that, okay? Now I'm playing around with the glasses because I do wear glasses at least part of the time and contacts part of the time. But when I'm at work, usually I just don't feel like putting my contacts in in the morning. So the fact that I could find something similar, not exact, not exact but similar to my glasses, was awesome and yeah so now i'm playing around like they have like chin creases and just like stuff i didn't even think about and i'm just playing around trying to see if you could see it but with my graphics girl you probably couldn't tell that i was even doing anything but guess what y'all can also change the shine of your zoe can you believe can you what so <laughs> I did play with that and I made myself a little shinier. Now, I'm just going to zoom boom past this a little bit. If you guys watched anybody else's video, maybe you haven't. They have something like lifestyles kind of a thing. Like where you can click your Zoe's personality like a 
volunteer, a charmer, a socialite, a go-getter, artistic, individualist, entertain Like, the depth of this is awesome. So you can select these traits and it gives you like a paragraph description and some characteristics. And I really like it. It's like if you took a personality test, how they would break it down to you. That's kind of the vibe I was getting from this. I really like it. So I end up choosing individualist. Um, but I really could have chose mediator. I really could have chose dreamer. There's so many that I feel like suit me as a person. So I was glad to have all of those options. I really like it. Now, y'all, this part really took me out. The fact that you don't have to, like, use a mod. I mean, I'm sure people are going to mod this game to change the background. Like, in-game. I was tripping so hard when I saw that. <laughs> but I like the bedroom. And I'm sure they're going to come out with more. But something I didn't even show you guys is that you can change the lighting and the color of the bedroom in the background. Like, what? Like, I'm so blown away by that. I was like huh so I really like that I like the bedroom and what not and I had so much fun playing with this and I just love the detail that they put in this and the fact I like the way the camera moves like how you can take away the UI and you can get really close to your Zoe y'all like I'm so excited for the future of this game I'm first in line to get this game honey so, it, it, like, oh, I don't know. I'm so excited. Now, I did discover that they have a photo mode. You can take photos in Create a Sim with different expressions on your face. So, I played around with <laughs> all of them. I had to look at them, and they were cracking me up, y'all. And these dances took me out. Like, hello. I love this. I'm someone that likes to pose my sims and make them dance and do crazy things. So I enjoyed this. Go ahead and leave me a like or subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye.